Hey, it's Pamela from Enjoy Gifts and Gathering, and it's hashtag Storytime with Pam. And tonight we're going to read The Big Red Tractor and the Little Village by Francis Chan. He's an amazing um, pastor, so you can go online and look him up. Once upon a time in a happy little village, a big red tractor lived in a cozy little shed. Each year when the snow started to melt, the villagers knew it was time to plow their field. So every morning, they'd go out to the little shed and wake up the big, big red tractor. They loved the powerful putt-putt, kaboom noises he made, and they cheered because the big red tractor helped them with their hardest job, plowing the field. Everyone worked together to move the big red tractor through the field. Half the villagers pushed him, and the other half pulled him. He smiled cheerfully, glad to help, even though they never seemed to move him very far. The villagers worked very hard and they always finished plowing the field just in time to plant delicious vegetables and sweet fruit before the rain came. Then, one cold day, something amazing happened. Farmer Dave was cleaning out his attic and discovered a book tucked inside an old chest. It explained how the big red tractor had been made and it showed powerful things no one knew he could do. Farmer Dave stayed up all night reading the book. He couldn't wait to tell everyone what he had discovered. The next morning, Farmer Dave gathered the villagers to tell them the good news. The big red tractor can move on his own. <laughs> if we fix him, he could plow the entire field in just one day. But nobody believed him. There's no way that tractor can move on its own, they said. It sounds like a fairy tale. They laughed at him. And he went back and they went back to their work. And this made Farmer Dave very sad. But Farmer Dave didn't stop believing what he had read. Every night while the villagers were asleep, Farmer Dave stayed up late fixing the big red tractor. Finally, after many nights, Farmer Dave was done. He jumped onto the big red tractor and turned him on. Put, put, kaboom! He jumped in the driver's seat and had so much fun that he plowed the whole field that very night. The next morning, the villagers woke to a huge surprise. Their work was done for them. They would not have to spend many weeks pushing and pulling the big red tractor over fields of dirt. It's a miracle! Who did this for us? Look over there! It was Farmer Dave sleeping on the big red tractor. The people shouted happily, Farmer Dave was right! The tractor book was true! That year, the villagers plowed and harvested many fields. They had so much extra food that they were able to share it with people in other villages who needed it. When they visited other villages, Farmer Dave and the Big Red Tractor always took the book with him so they could teach others the wonderful news they had learned. The little village kept sharing and the villagers became known as the most generous people in the world. Did you know that you are like the big red tractor? God made you and he knows just how you work best. He wrote a book full of truth that you can read to help you know how to live too. The Bible tells us that if we try to do things on our own, we won't accomplish much. But if we just trust Jesus, God gives us his spirit so that we'll have new power, the power to love others and tell them about God. God made us to be a blessing to others. 
through the Spirit, we can do great things just like Jesus. When the Holy Spirit comes to you, you will receive power. Acts 1-8. The end.